Bismillah wa salatu wa salam Ala nabiyyina Muhammad Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam Amma ba'd Ahabat fillah The question was asked I'm a new Muslim What book should I study? This question has been posed countless times to the ulama who are more rightly or have greater right to answer these type these questions. However, with that being said, and due to the ni'amillah, the blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that knowledge and access to knowledge is widespread, meaning knowledge is readily available for free, especially by using the internet. And I will begin answering this question with how the great Imam Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahhab rahimahullah ta'ala began his risala his book entitled al usul thalatha or the four the three uh, the three principles and he began with four basic principles he said i'lam rahimakallah he said no and may Allah have mercy upon you. Hear the great Imam to open our, our chest, to make it more appealing and that we would pay attention. He supplicated for those listeners, for those people reading his treaties. He said, I'lam rahimakallah. May Allah have mercy upon you. Verily, innama innuhu yajibu alayna an ta'allam arba masail. Verily, it's an obligation upon us to study four issues. And he said, Al Ula al Ilm. He said, the first thing is knowledge. And this is very relevant to what the questioner asked about. Al Ula al Ilm. The first thing is knowledge. And the knowledge he's referring to is Ilm al Nafiyah, as the ulama mentioned. This is beneficial knowledge. Al Ula al Ilm. And then he began to explain what he meant by this ilm al nafi this beneficial knowledge. He said, Al-Ula al-ilm wa huwa ma'rafatullah wa ma'rafat al-Nabi wa ma'rafat al-Din al-Islam bi adillah. He said, and it is knowing Allah and knowing the Messenger and knowing the religion of Islam with its textual proofs. So letting us know and what we can infer and deduce from this is that first and foremost, we need knowledge of Tawheed. You need knowledge of Tawheed. So some of the books that will be relevant is this very treatise I'm talking about. Al-Asul al because you can download that for free. And there are countless lectures of many students of knowledge that you can find which explain it from many different masajid all around uh, America, the UK, and in various languages. So you'll find that it's easily accessible. I think some of the brothers at the Mektaba Salafiyah, as uh, Salafi publications, and uh, have explanations. You could probably download it on, uh, you know, from their various websites you can download it from I'm sure Medina.com you can download it from various Salafi websites that will with explanations so al usulu thalatha the three principles so then the great Imam he mentioned so he said he said when he referred to Elm he said Wahu Marafatullah Marafat al Nabi Marafat al Din al Islam it is knowing Allah 
It is knowing the messenger and it is knowing the religion of Islam bi adillah. That does not mean that of course we as lay persons or beginning students of knowledge or whatever, whatever uh, uh, individual status is, that you're going to memorize all of the text, that you're even going to memorize all of the Quran and certainly not all of the Sunnah. But what it means is, is that you should learn what's going to be sufficient for you to practice your religion. So a book like Asul al whatever you can memorize from it, or at least read it countless times so you understand with the explanation, so you understand those issues. So that's what I would recommend as a good starter with Tawheed and a general uh, understanding of a basic understanding in, in general regarding uh, Islamic creed, Islamic Aqidah. Second would be a book, read as much as you can, of books like, of course, Sahih al-Bukhari and Sahih Muslim. And of course, first and foremost, the Quran. Reading as much as possible and finding as many explanations so that way you can focus, of course, on Tawheed and the importance of following the Sunnah of the Prophet Wasallam, to where you begin to internalize the importance of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Wasallam. So, and all of these things you can find in English. You can find these books in English. So, again, so to be more clear and without straying, because there's so much to say with regards to uh, a question like this, is uh, al asul al or the, the three uh, principles. There's another very important book, also by Muhammad ibn al-Wahhab reg regarding creed, called uh, Qawaid al-Arba, or the Four Principles. And you can find explanations of those uh, from students of knowledge and some even from the scholars that have been translated into English. Uh, Nawaqid al-Islam, the nullifiers of faith. And this will give you an important grounding in important aspects of creed. Then, from there, and even simultaneously, you can read, as I mentioned, Bukhari and Muslim, and always reading the Quran, because all Aqidah, all of these fairs come from the Book of Allah. The Book and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah This is the asal of, of everything. But those books help you because they have compiled those issues, those masail, that are important for the believer. Then, very important to listen and go through text. Go through whatever are recorded lectures of some of the students of knowledge of different books, uh, different chapters in hadith, and also uh, so, so different, you know, whatever you can from Sahih Muslim, Sahih Bukhari that are, that have been translated and you can follow along and benefit from the, the explanation because it's very important, those explanations so that way you understand the intent behind the text you understand how to implement the text when to implement the text, all of those issues that comes up from seeking the knowledge, not just reading on yourself. As the ulama of the past used to say, men akhada kitabihi, men akhada kitabihi sheikhihi, or kama qal, fuhu Whoever takes their books as their scholar, is misguided, meaning the person who just reads and then they begin to make fatwa, they begin to think that they have the correct understanding, then they will be misguided 
And you see that, you see the difference between students of knowledge that have, have had the opportunity to uh, study with ulama and scholars and bring that knowledge back versus people who may even know the Arabic language even better, but yet they just read books and then they deduced and made their own inferences and their own understandings from those very texts from the Book of Allah and the Son of the Messenger of Allah There's a big difference. And those people tend to make many more mistakes because they didn't do what? Talaqi ilm ala ahli. They did not take knowledge from the people of knowledge. And this I have to emphasize and would say that we are in a, uh, we're blessed in that there are so many recorded lectures now and books that have been studied completely. Books of the Salaf that many of our brothers, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them and sisters have been teaching for years and they have left an abundance of recorded material that you can follow along with and benefit. And this will help you gain an usul. And this is what I want to say, it will help you gain a foundation. Because we didn't have this luxury. When I became a Muslim, we didn't have this luxury. We had nothing. We had no one to teach us really, and we didn't know the importance of knowledge at all. And we used to just read translations of the Quran, some translations of the Sunnah, and really make our own verdicts. We didn't know. We didn't have anyone to show us. So we made countless mistakes, major mistakes. We didn't get, Tawheed was not emphasized. So from that, we went from minhaj to minhaj. We tried this, we tried that, whatever kind of felt good uh, for the moment. Be a Sufi today, join ja Jamaat al Tabliq tomorrow, be a Takfiri the next day, Said Qutb, all of these kind of things. I would advise to stay away from those kind of books. Stay away from the books of Said Qutb, especially Maududi and others in their explanations of the Quran, their books like Milestones, those, they're just political books that are laced with takfir and as many of our ulama have pointed out especially at the head of them being a great alam named Sheikh Rabi bin Hadi al Madkhali has written extensively about this topic refuting Sayyid Qutb and pointing out the major issues with regards to Aqidah and Creed and Minhaj and showing very clearly the issues where Sayyid Qutb has made, uh, revived the call to takfir in this age. He has revived it, and this is uh, very dangerous and very serious and has had uh, implications throughout the world. Those are just some of the things that I would emphasize. Again, listen to lectures is good, but listen to explanations of those books, of books of the Salaf, of books of Creed. There are many simplified texts like uh, that have been translated uh, from the ulama like Sh Sh Imam Muqbil, Sheikh Al-Albani, Imam Al-Albani, Imam bin Baz, Imam bin Uthaymeen, Imam Fozan, and others. There's so many texts out there that now there's just no excuse so I would advise reading those things also those translated texts to get uh, that give us a more contemporary reference for the Minhaj of the Salaf and those are just some of the things that I would advise regarding new books and, w and how to begin studying and I ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil Forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. Ala nabiyya na Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi. Wa sallam.